So today I want to just give a short video, uh, just a little bit of response to what I just watched. Uh, I haven't been able to watch many YouTube videos and I haven't been watching the news much because I've been busy. I've, I've been working on my computer and I've been working. So I've been kind of relaxing when I do get, get done I watch a couple of TV shows. but. Today I watch, and I'm not going to, even though his first title is pastor, I'm not going to call him a pastor because I, I don't know any pastors like this. I've been to a lot of churches. I don't know any pastors that spoke this way. Um, what, Charles Warley, Woolley, whatever. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link the video. Uh, but you probably have seen the video because it's gone pretty much viral, it's out there everywhere, and a few people have already made video responses regarding this video by the pastor that's talking in the church. He's in North Carolina and he's speaking to his people and he is talking about killing gays and lesbians. Killing them. Put them into concentration camps and kill them off in a couple of years so they're gone. Done deal. <laughs> Deathbox said it the best. It, 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 we've already done this. We've already done it. Um, it, 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 it. That's exactly what I thought when I watched the video. I was like, wow, you know, what, are we in Nazi Germany again, you know? Um, it was just mind-blowing to listen to what he had to say. Um, I've been to churches all, I've been to churches off and on all my life. Never heard a pastor speak of hate. Never. Hate. Hate don't exist. That church is love. God. Love. Everything's love. He spoke hate. Kill. Do this. Do that. What the hell? And then he has his congregation of I don't know how many, but there was, a, there was definitely a crowd there saying amen to it all. Praise the Lord. Whatever. I couldn't believe it. You know, and then I'm watch a couple of the responses and I have to agree with most everything but you know something that I, I kind of chuckled but in a not a happy way um, Will Shep 689 I believe Will had wrote down when he he mentioned it and said avoid North <laughs> note to self avoid North Carolina churches there's a problem there this isn't just North Carolina that's, that deals with this. This isn't the only place that has these hate. That's the amazing part. He's the one that is on the pulpit right now being showcased. It's everywhere. It is still everywhere. It may not be in mass quantities, but it's everywhere. So he's just one of probably hundreds of these pastors that feel that way and preach that way. Maybe not, I don't know how, how many. What we already know how it is, uh, whatever, the Westboro church thing, we already know them. We already know they want us all dead. So we got another one that wants us dead. Um, it's fucked up. Yeah, I said the word fuck. It's fucked up. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, I, I grew up in a time I mean, I grew up, I started in the 60s. You know, it's funny, I just watched a movie. You know, we're fighting, we're fighting to, for all this. And I watched a movie last night, and it was an old movie, I think 1961, Pocket Full of Miracles with Betty Davis and Glenn Ford, and all the young people are probably saying, who? But in the movie, they have this one man that's out to help, help uh, dress Betty Davis up. Uh, because she's an old hag and she's, they got to dress her up and they say oh no she he, the, he can't go into the room and the girl's like oh no don't worry he's okay he's okay giving the hint he was gay okay so we've been we've known it and it's been in TV in movies for so many ages but yet we still got all this hate out there you know I watched one good thing last night you know and I think back how far back that was and then I look and I see how much we experience it now. And people are saying, why are we experiencing this so much now? And 
pretty much because we've decided that we don't want to be second class citizens anymore. We've decided to speak up. We've decided to fight. We were fighting before, but we, could, we didn't have the strength. Now we've come out in more numbers. So now they have to speak against us. I think we're doing a good thing because evidently we're pissing a lot of people off. I don't know. I, I, I can't believe it, you know. He's a pastor. If he's getting any, if he if he's getting tax breaks or anything, he shouldn't be. I mean, he spoke badly about our president. He he's just not nothing about him is right. It's all hate. So I don't know. Uh, it's it's real. It, it was really disturbing to watch it. Uh, and I actually had to watch it twice just to make sure I was hearing everything right. And I did not enjoy watching it. Those are the type of people that really. They, they are the cause of why we're fighting so hard right now. It's not, it, it, it's not the everyday people. The everyday people, they could kill us. Most of them could kill us. They just want, they, they, they believe everybody should be treated equal. And we already have proof of that just by the stats. Right now, it's 50-50 for gay marriage. That's pretty good, considering where we were. But... For a preacher to preach hate, and for everybody out there that's listening to him say, Amen, give me a break. What, what is church? That you, you've, just made, what, you've just made religion that much worse with all of that bullshit. That's all I have to say. I know, I've rambled. It's way too long, but I don't care. I'm just going to post it and be done with it. It really, it really pissed me off, and um, I just had to say my piece on it, you know. Uh, I think, I think our government, I hate to say it, but I think our government really needs to look at what we consider churches now, you know, because if, they, if they're preaching hate, then I don't see where they're a church. I grew up with churches preaching love and respect everybody. Y'all have a good night. Bye.